The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Friday night's 2-1 victory over Michigan State gave Wisconsin its first two-game winning streak of the season. And then the Spartans won game two, 3 0 I'm Brian Posick, radio voice for Wisconsin hockey. Badgers hit the road this weekend to play in Michigan. We'll be joined by head coach Mike Eves in just a moment on the Badger Hockey Digest. He's faced only seven shots on goal. Badgers with a draw. Chase Drake looking and scores! Scored in 21 games. He lit the lamp twice against North Dakota November 8th. And here he lights the lamp and gives Wisconsin a 1 0 lead in the second period. Giving chase now, Bessie. Did he get it free from Holland? He does. Back behind the net on the backhand. Sets up a man. Badger score! Kevin shows! He and Grant Bessie have been struggling handling the puck, but the last two or three shifts, he's been much better. He's been missing the net with his shot, so set up somebody else, and this time it's Kevin Schultz. The Badger Hockey Digest is brought to you by Charter Communications. Welcome to U.S. Cellular. My family of four would like to switch to your best plan ever. You know you don't actually need four people to get our best plan pricing. Oh. You can connect anywhere between two and six devices to our 10 gig plan, and we'll pay off your old contract. We'll just take the two lines then for a phone and a tablet. So, how long have you been married? Switch to our best plan pricing and get our new $100 trading guarantee. U.S. Cellular. Well, the Badgers split with Michigan State over the weekend. Uh, the Spartans stay right in the thick of things in the Big Ten Conference. But, uh, Mike, uh, Michigan State's a team that's awfully tough to play against. You got a win on Friday, and they made it even more difficult for you on Saturday. Well, which is uh, the, the, the difficulty of trying to sweep a team because mm -hmm. one team is you know, elated, happy, satisfied that they won, and the other team is all ticked off, and they got a burr in their bonnet. And they came back with that burr on Saturday, and... Uh, they, they earned that victory, and uh, it was, uh, you know, as you said, Brian, they're an interesting team to play against because uh, they play a system that lulls you into thinking there's space and time, and then next thing you know, there's a turnover because you're going through a, a small area with a lot of people, and they're going back the other way, and e even at the pro level, it, it's, it's hard to get guys to understand that where the open ice is, and for a moment, you have to give up the puck, put it to a space and go back and get it. Then you can play in their zone and try to create offense. And, uh, I, you know, I know that Coach Chewy had conversations with a couple of our guys like, well, I see all this space. Yeah, you've got space for a little while, yeah. but then it's gone rapidly because they got a bunch of guys there. So uh, they, they play it to a T, uh, and it's one of their strengths as a T. They, they know who, who they are, and they play, to, they play that style to a T. And if you, you're going to fight that, then you're going to get in trouble. Yeah, and when they get the lead, they hang on for more more times than not. But your club was able to get the lead on Friday. You're up 2 nothing after two periods of play, a couple of goals from defensemen, Chase Drake, and then Kevin Scholes, and uh, then you held on from there. Yeah, we did a good job, and it was, uh, as you said, I think the key there was getting the lead and playing a ahead of them and, and, and getting them out of their comfort system because now they had to open it up a little bit. And we hung on, got some good saves from Joel at the end, and found a way to win a game, and gave us two in a row for the first time all year, and which was a good step for us. Uh, and you know, we're looking for growth. We're looking to play our best hockey in the season, and for the first time all year, we've got a couple wins on the road, or a couple wins in a row, and now we have to keep pushing forward. Yep. And then, unfortunately, it didn't win on Saturday, and, and you had spoken after the game too. Just didn't win enough battles yeah. in that game, but it kind of emphasizes the point you just made a moment ago. A team doesn't want to get swept, so you know how they're going to come out the next night. Yeah, and it's uh, it, you're fighting human nature, yeah. and um, it, it's you know I, I think as a, as a coaching staff we tried to uh, uh, go into that game uh, with a little bit of a different twist. We changed our lines mm -hmm. as a uh, kind of a sign that hey, we need to be better tonight. And I, I think sometimes you push to the right buttons. I don't know if the button we pushed that night worked out for us because we didn't get the W. 
Um, but, you know, I think that uh, it's a battle that coaches have all the time, fighting that, that human nature. When you win, you relax. When you lose, you're fired up. You want to prove yourself. And uh, we didn't handle that very well on Saturday, but it was the first time all year that we had a chance to see. <laughs> so that, that in itself was a good thing. It, there was a lot of lessons learned, and, and we're going to be a better club because of it. Yep. Last time the Badgers were on the road, they won at Ohio State. They go on the road this weekend to play Michigan. More on that coming up in just a moment. It's funny how seeing a clearer picture can lead you to see the bigger one. Get the most HD channels and the fastest internet on the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? Some call it a miracle. Others call it science. But for those who've needed a kidney transplant like Kelly Crager, they simply call it a new lease on life. For nearly five decades, UW Health and the University of Wisconsin have been national leaders in the field of kidney transplant, providing a new life for recipients and assuring a normal life for living donors. Miracle? Science? Maybe it's a little bit of both. UW Health. Remarkable. This past weekend against Michigan State, senior goaltender Joel Rumpel stopped 32 shots on Friday, 30 more on Saturday, gave up only four goals over the weekend. It's been a pretty good defensive stretch for your club here the last uh, couple of weeks where the goals against have been dropping significantly. What's been the difference there? Honestly? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I think that we haven't been playing Michigan or Minnesota. <laughs> uh, those are two high-powered uh, offenses, and uh, I, I think in combination of that, on a more serious note, I think that uh, we've been doing a better job in front of Joel. I think our play in our own zone has been better. I think we've blocked more shots. I think Joel has eliminated some, some uh, goals that he would like back. Mm -hmm. So it's been a combination of things, but we'll be tested this weekend going into the backyard of the Michigan Wolverines and playing a, a high potent, mm -hmm. terribly offensive team. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to it because I think that it'll be a good uh, test to see where we've come since the last time we played them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so it, it, I'm looking forward to it actually. I think that it's another step for us you know, it's, it's a step closer to getting to Detroit where the playoffs are for the Big Ten, and I think it'll be a, a good test for our young people. Yeah, before we continue with the Wolverines, as far as Joel's concerned, he comes back for his senior season, never once thought about turning pro, he says. Mm -hmm. Does he have a future at the next level? Well, there are teams that are, are interested in Joel. In the summertime, he's he has had the opportunity to go to a couple pro camps and, and, and have, have them look at him closer. So I know there's a, there's a couple teams that have interest in him, and and that's a good thing for Joel. I think that he's got to, obviously, he's going to have to go and prove himself mm -hmm. at camp and then probably start in a lower league and then work his way up. Most goalies have to do that. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I think for young goalies, if you look at the history, there's no need for goalies to leave school early because it's a process. And, you know, when Joel's done here, he's going to have his degree and then he can wholeheartedly step forward to the next part of his life knowing that he's got that in his hip pocket and he'll, he'll give it a good kick in the can and then if it doesn't work out, uh, his degree will open some doors for him. Yeah. Athletically, Joel has the capability to play at the next level, and he also has that demeanor too, where you know he lets one in and oh, oh well, yeah. let's go to the corner and shake it off, and let gets, let's get back between the pots. Yeah, and it's you know that that what he brings to the table is both his strength and his weakness, sure. uh, because I think one of the things he's gotten better at is competing. I think that in practice, he's learned to be a better position goaltender uh, with the help of Jeff Sanger. I think uh, who's really helped him is is Petey, Landon Peterson, uh, because Petey's strength is his work ethic and his competitiveness. And I think that Joel has been around that, and Joel's become better in that area. Um, so for Joel Rumpel, his his key to his success is finding that, that happy ground, that medium between being that guy who can let a goal go but at the same time being that competitive goaltender between the pipes that does not like to get scored upon. All right. So you mentioned Michigan. You want to see how far you've come since the last time you played the Wolverines. They came here and swept the Badgers and scored 13 goals in the process. They took a little stumble after that, but maybe they've righted the ship a little bit too, and they're battling for a Big Ten title. Oh, yeah. there's. I mean, those four teams are up there battling away, so they got lots to play for, which – you know, it was good because you know they're going to come ready, and that makes us better. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, the thing about our team is that these next six games 
lead us into the Big Ten tournament. And, and it's, a, it's a moving up the ladder kind of thing, an osmosis kind of thing. They're drawing it up, us up to their level, and we want to be playing our best hockey, so when we go into Detroit, we get a real good kick in the can. Yeah, looking forward to it. Good luck. Thanks, Brian. I'm sure that's a Badgers head coach Mike Eves. Wisconsin and Michigan, Friday night. A face-off is at 6.30. It's on the uh, Fox Sports Wisconsin. And then Saturday, it's a matinee, a 3 o'clock face-off. You can watch that on the Big Ten Network. Both games also live on the radio and badgersportsnetwork.com. For Mike Eves, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.